Hi YouTube. So my name is Jessica. I am 24. I am a new stay at home mom, I guess you could say. Um, I recently graduated from college as well. And the reason why I'm going to be a stay at home mom is because I am pregnant. And um, I had been making videos since about November. But um, I want to upload them as I got towards the end of my pregnancy week by week but life happens and my computer crashed so I don't have any of those videos to upload and the only video that I did have is the nursery tour and that's already on this channel so I want to do like a little intro my name Jessica Jess so um just so you all can kind of get to know me a little better and I want to talk about being pregnant and speed things up all the way to the point that I am today, which I will be 36 weeks pregnant tomorrow, which is crazy, but I wanted to start, I had to, you know, I had so many things to do if anybody has been pregnant before, um, pregnancy, just life, then me being in college, graduation, I wanted to wait till I got all those things out the way, then I had time to work on my YouTube channel, but Things happen and I lost all the footage that I've been recording since I found out I was pregnant. So let's go ahead and jump into my pregnancy. So, um, I technically, I guess I got pregnant October the 10th or 11th, give or take, whichever. Um, I didn't find out I was pregnant until November 1st. Um, I had my fiance go get a pregnancy test and I assumed I was pregnant because Halloween had went by and I did not get a period so I peed on the stick and it came back positive so we decided that we weren't going to tell anyone that I was pregnant until you know I made it to the first trimester had a doctor's appointment and all that good stuff so I was pretty normal October, um, November, uh, I had an increased appetite in November, and I remember just eating lots of butter peas at Thanksgiving time, and after that, um, November, December, uh, the week, it was either the week of Christmas or after Christmas, um, was my three month mark. And shortly after that, the next week, I made my first doctor's appointment, which was January 6th. And I know because I um, had an ultrasound and um, I saw the baby for the first time. So uh, that was our first appointment. And they estimated my due date, which is July the 4th. So that was pretty exciting. And then I went back in February and found out the gender. And I am having a boy. So that was fun. And then we announced to all our family and friends uh, the week after Valentine's Day that I was pregnant. And so I had pretty much went through half of my pregnancy without anybody knowing I was pregnant. The only person besides me and my fiance that knew I was pregnant was my uh, gym instructor because I had to take some type of physical education course for me to graduate. So he knew I was pregnant. So I had to tell him and then, um, my daughter so that was it no one else knew um when I told everyone I was pregnant you know some people were excited some people were kind of like mm. so you know how that can be with family and friends and people's opinions which really don't matter to me but um yeah so we told everybody I was pregnant in February um in between about the end of December Till about when I told everyone I was pregnant, I was really sick. I was throwing up. I could barely keep down water. I could not keep down any solids. Um, my pre-pregnancy weight was 127. I am 5'5", five, five, for anybody who wants to know. I was 127. My first doctor's appointment, I was 117. So, um, it was either 117 or 116.5, somewhere in there. But I had lost 10 pounds. Um, from being pregnant and uh, I was really sick and I was sick all of most of all of after Christmas all of January 
uh, most of February, and then when March came around, I kind of got my appetite back. And so, um, yeah, I started to gain weight, started going to the doctor's appointments, all that good stuff, told everybody I was pregnant. Um, I had my baby shower May 3rd. It was a safari-themed baby shower. Um, I got plenty of gifts. Um, I have a few things that I still need to get on my list, like swaddling blankets, a few more burp cloths, and strangely baby powder which is not necess necessary because I will pl I plan on using coconut oil on him instead but I just want to have it just because I want to have it so um yeah that was it and uh, speed things up um, I've been eating fine gaining a lot of weight as of right now I weigh 147 so I went from Pre-pregnancy 127, losing 10 pounds, being 117, and as of now, I'm 147, but who knows because I have another doctor's appointment next week, and I will be talking about that appointment and uploading a video since I'll be up on my videos now. And yes, yeah, so I will be nine months pregnant. Tomorrow, my days start over on Fridays, and that's about it. Um, I catch up on <laughs> I just kind of smushed all those weeks and videos that you all have missed out on into one video um what else uh I plan on getting an epidural no I'm not doing it natural I want all the medication that I can get um my son's name is Simeon Simeon David um the video before this may be the nursery tour so you guys can check that out um see am I missing anything else this is my first baby First pregnancy for me and my fiance. We are excited. Um, I have my hospital bag packed. I have my bag packed. I have my um, son's bag packed as well as my fiance because I have to pack the bag for him. I cannot leave it up to him to pack his own bag. So I have that done. And so now it's just the sitting, waiting game, cleaning up the house, finishing the last touches. I think before when I did my nursery tour before, I didn't have my glider. But now I've gotten my glider. So um, the room is coming together. I have pretty much everything I need. Um, so yeah, that's it. Just waiting and enjoying. I washed all his clothes, everything. So I'm excited about being pregnant. This is my first baby. Um, hoping it won't be my last, depending on how my labor goes, which I will be doing a labor and delivery story. Uh, I'll be doing a video of what I packed for the baby, which is probably too much uh, what I packed for myself. So I just plan on being very active on my channel, uploading more, and just becoming part of the YouTube community. So, um, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have time, go and check out my nursery tour as well. Um, I'm not sure if I want to redo it or add some other things because I have gotten a few different knickknack things, but nothing too serious. So, um, yeah. So, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.